In this video, I'll show you how to set up your Samsung Galaxy A14 from the very beginning. So this is the screen you get once you unbox it and you power the phone on. First thing is to select the language. If you want English, just keep it this way and press the start button. If not, press right above it where it says English and select your language from the list. When you're ready, press the blue start button. Next, you'll have to agree to some terms and conditions. So just check those two first ones. The third one, you don't have to check it and press agree. Then it will ask to choose a Wi-Fi network. So choose uh, your so choose the Wi-Fi network of your house or office. Mine is the first one and then enter the password of this network. Once you're done, press the connect button. This next step may take a few minutes, sometimes two, three minutes. So just be patient and wait. On this next screen, it will ask if you want to transfer data from another Android or iPhone device. So let's say you got this new phone. You want to transfer the data from the older one to this one. Well, you'll have to press the next button. But if like me, you want to start fresh, You'll press don't copy. Here they will ask you to sign in into your Google account. You're obviously not obligated to do so, but if you don't do it, you won't be able to download any apps from the Google Play Store. So this defeats a bit the purpose of having a smartphone if you can't download apps. So go ahead and type your email or your phone number that is linked to your Google account. Then press the next button. And tap the password of this account. Once you're done, press the next button. Then press the agree button. Here you'll have to keep check or uncheck all these different options. It's up to you. I suggest you read all of them because it will be way too long if I explain to you each of these. In my case, I'll just uncheck them since I don't need them. But in your case, maybe uh, you'll want to keep one of these checked. So read this out and check or uncheck each options. Then press the accept button. Now it's time to set up your passcode or face recognition or fingerprint to unlock your phone with it. In my case, I'll skip this step, but if you want one of these security measure, you'll have to tap on it and then you'll be guided uh, on how to add each of these. So I'll just press skip for the moment. You can add them uh, later if you pressed skip. Don't worry about that. Next step, they will ask if you want to use the Google Assistant. You know, when you say, hey, Google, show me uh, the weather for tomorrow. Well, you can activate this feature or not activate it. In my case, I don't like it, so I'll just press skip. But if you like it, press agree and it will be right there. Again, I don't want to uh, use Google Assistant to lock or unlock my phone, so I'll press skip on this page as well. No. Now they will ask you if you want to install certain apps. It's up to you. You can look at them. If you think you're going to use them, you can pre-install. If at any moment you want to install them in the future, don't worry, they'll still be there. So in my case, I'll just uncheck this. So no apps that are listed here are installed since I'm not using them. Press OK when you're done. Next step, they will ask you to sign in into your Samsung account. The Samsung account is different than the Google account and it gives you different features. Uh, again, in my case, I don't use uh, these features, so, so I don't want to sign in into my Samsung account. I don't even know if I have one, so I'll just press skip. But if in your case uh, you want to sign in, go ahead, tap your phone number or email and press next. In my case, I'll just press skip. 
Now again, two things, two options here that um, are checked. And if you want to uncheck them, just go ahead and tap on them. It's all related to Samsung services. In my case, I don't need them. Maybe in your case you would, that's up to you, but I suggest you uncheck them. And then in the future, if you need something like this, well, you can uh, activate them later. I'll press agree. Here they ask you if you want to send your device diagnostic in case you have problems so they learn from your case and could improve the system. I don't want that. I don't want to send any data to anyone. So I will uncheck this and press accept and continue. You will get the screen, press finish. Wait just a few seconds and finally you'll be able to use your Samsung phone. Before ending this video, I'll just show you how to insert the SIM card. So on the left side, on the top here, you'll find the SIM card tray. To open this tray, you should get the SIM ejecting tool that was in the box that came with your phone. If you don't have it, just take a needle or a paper clip. They both do the same exact thing. So you're going to stick it in the small hole here, like this and you're going to push it. This way the tray will pop out. You may get a message on the screen. Your phone doesn't even need to be on when you're doing this. So I'll close mine. Then with your finger, just pull the tray out. If you want to install, well, if you want to install a memory card, it will go on the slot that is on the left side but the SIM card goes on the right side. So take your SIM card, should look like this one. And how to insert it? Well, it's very easy. So, so this is the tray, the same way we pulled it out, ex exact same direction. Take your SIM card and you see the SIM card has one of the corner that is cutted. You see here, it, it goes like this. Well, you need to align it with this corner over here that is also cut it. Place it with the chip facing down like this. And it should align perfectly in this tray. You see, it should stay flat. Once you're done, take your phone, take the tray and simply glide it right inside. If the if the SIM card, like in my case here, moved around and is out of its slot, it won't fit. So you have to start again. Take it out, make sure it's there, and then glide it inside, like this. Make sure it's flush, you can pass your finger like this, and you're done. You have now inserted the SIM card into your Samsung Galaxy A14. I hope this tutorial was useful, if so please leave a like, comment down below, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.